What is up, Mac Nation, and welcome back to yet another edition of Cooking with Chef Jan. Today, I'm going to show you how to bring fine dining to your home. I will be doing a pantsered salmon with roasted veg and lemon sauce. But before that, here are your ingredients. So what we want to do first is our vegetables because we want to be able to put it in the oven and while that's cooking in the oven we're going to sear the salmon and then lastly we'll do the sauce. You just kind of want to cut the potatoes in obliques, small obliques. You don't want your vegetables to be too big because you don't want to choke anyone. <laughs> Same thing goes with the carrots. All you want to do is cut it in small obliques. You actually don't need a lot of carrots. Like, I just used half of the carrots and that should be enough for a plate. Now what you want to do is chop off your shallots into really tiny pieces. Be careful with handling knives because you don't want to cut yourself. Minced. Now originally you were going to want to chop your garlic, but in our case, um, we bought the chopped garlic from the store already because there was none uh, available. So what you want to do is add in a little bit of your garlic to your potato and carrots. Add in a little bit of the shallots. Add your salt and pepper. And lastly, add a little bit of oil. Mix it well. And put it in the oven. Now we're going to cook this for about 15 minutes. And then we'll check the doneness of the potato and the carrots. And goes in the oven. Searing a salmon is very easy. But with that said, it's also easy to mess up. You want to make sure that you start off with an aggressive heat. Because you want your pan very hot. And you're going to put it skin side down. First, you want to add your salt and pepper. Now we're going to put the salmon in the pan, skin side down. After putting down the salmon, as you saw, I pressed down a little bit because the skin started curling up. Also, at this point, you kind of want to make an adjustment on your fire because you don't want it to be too aggressive now. You just kind of want to get that initial uh, aggressiveness on your fire to crisp up your salmon skin. Now that we secure the crispness of the salmon skin, we want to turn it on the other side and cook it for another 30 to 50 seconds. I pre-blanched the asparagus and the Brussels sprouts earlier. Now we're gonna pan roast it.
The key to pan roasting a vegetable is the color. Because we already pre-blanched the vegetables, it's pretty much cooked already all the way through. We just want to make sure that they acquire a little bit of texture and a little bit of color. Now it's time to work on our sauce and our garnish. If you want a more detailed recipe, I'm going to put it on my description box again. Now that we've finished our vegetables and our salmon, it's time to make the sauce. All you need is some butter. And I want to melt that. Then you'd want to add some shallots, the minced shallots that we chopped earlier, some chopped garlic. You just want to saute that until they turn translucent. Add in a little bit of salt because salt brings out a lot of liquid from your uh, onion or shallots. Once you finish sauteing that, you want to add in your lemon juice. Now usually I would put some white wine as well. But since we're cooking on a budget price and not a lot of household has white wine, I decided not to put it. I mean, I have some white wine over there, but just for the sake of everyone, I decided not to put anything. So after your lemon, you want to add a little bit more of your butter because you want to emulsify that. You want that nice, thick, saucy um, consistency. Want to, you want to add a little bit more of your salt, a little bit of black pepper, and you want to add a little bit of um, sour cream for an acquired taste. It depends. You can choose not to add uh, sour cream or you can choose to add some sour cream. It depends on you. But in my case, it just gives a little bit more body to the sauce. Give it a quick taste. Mmm, yummy. Now you want to add some parsley to it. Make sure you incorporate that. I mean, look at it, guys. That's so beautiful. Look. Mmm. That, that nice saucy consistency. This is delicious, guys. Please try it at home. I mean, you're going to make your partner very happy if you're trying to make a um, romantic dinner or a romantic lunch. This is definitely going to work out. Mmm. Delicious. Magnation, I hope you enjoy that easy recipe. Here's your finished product. going to be it for today's video guys I got some really good feedback on my last video and a lot of you wanted to see more of my cooking so thank you for your feedbacks make sure to show your love and support by hitting that subscribe button and if you want an update every time I upload make sure to turn on your post notification bell I'll see you guys next time peace